Welcome all to Newton's Laws of Motion Class 8 in which we'll discuss about Atwood machine. So this Atwood machine is nothing but a single pulley system if you are just considering a smooth massless pulley over here and a string is connect passing through the pulley and one end of the string is connected to a block of mass M1 over here and the other end of the string is connected to a block of mass let's say that is equal to nothing but M2. Now our aim is to find out what about the acceleration with which these masses are moving. So first we are going to draw the forces acting on the object. We can write weight of this object M2G is acting in downward direction. Weight of first object M1G is acting in downward direction. Now, now take it as tension in the string is equal to nothing but T. Now just remember that over here this is the same string so in same string tension at each and every point will be same so tension over here should also be taken as nothing but t now over here uh, we can assume that if the value of uh, m2 is greater than that of m1 that means m2 is going to move downward direction with an acceleration a and m2 is connected to m1 by an inextensible massless string so if M2 is moving with an acceleration A in downward, then M1 will move with the same acceleration in upward direction. Now we can draw the free body diagram for mass M1 and M2 and we can write the equation for this. So if you are considering the first particle, weight of this object M1G is acting in downward direction, tension T is acting in upward direction and it is moving with an acceleration A in upward direction. So as it is moving with an acceleration A in upward direction, it represents that the value of tension is more than that of M1G. So over here, we will take the upward direction as positive. So we can write T minus M1G is the value of net force is equal to mass of object M1 into acceleration A. Like that, we can write the free body diagram for uh, M2. So if you are observing mass M2, we can write the forces acting on the objects are M2G is acting downward direction and tension T is acting in upward direction. It is moving with an acceleration A in downward direction. So we can write this will be equal to m2g as the acceleration is downward the net force is going to act in downward direction so i'm taking downward direction as positive and upward direction as negative so you can write m1g minus t is equal to nothing but m1 m2 into a take it as equation number two now for the calculation of acceleration we can add these two equations if you are adding these two equation does t and minus t get cancelled we'll get the answer as nothing but m2g minus m1g is equal to nothing but m1 plus m2 into a or you can write the value of a is equal to we can take this m2 minus m1 into g divided by m1 plus m2 this will give the value of acceleration now if you want to find out the value of tension if you are putting the value of acceleration on any of this equation equation number one or equation number two we can find out the value of tension also so any question related to a string or pulley system then we'll use this concept to find out what about the value of its acceleration hope so that you understood whatever the things that we discussed in this class if you are having a doubt please contact thank you